Hey guys, previously my channel was all about information on how Jesus Christ already returned in 70 AD and Christianity ended whenever he destroyed that temple in Jerusalem. That was the end of days, that was the end of that world. We live in a completely different time. If you want to see about that, go check out my old videos. My new videos are just about what God says to us today. I don't follow anything, I don't follow Christ, I don't follow the Bible, nothing like that. Just pray to God only, and last night he showed me another dream. Last night I saw it was light outside and it looked like a nice day outside, you know? But God removed that part. It was like that was a facade. Things looked good. They looked stable enough. They looked fine. But he removed that, removed the sunny day and showed me what was actually happening behind that. And what I saw was a completely dark sky. It was red. The clouds were black and lowering. The whole sky was, it was really creepy looking, you know? And all along this ridge, there were these stones that were set up. It was like showing me how feeble, how frail this uh, government actually is. And uh, all these stones were set up and they had, you know, it was just, they were all rickety looking, like they could fall really easily. And he said, all it takes to, what word did he use? All it takes to shift the balance of power and he blew on it really gently he just went and uh, all those stones and everything started falling down and crashing and it was like he was uh, he was telling me how easy it is and how unstable we actually are right now and i don't know if this was a warning about if we don't get back to following god this is what's going to happen if we don't start doing the right things this is what's going to happen or I don't know if it was a prophecy saying that the balance of power is going to change. I knew, you know, basically what balance of power would mean from an English standpoint, but I didn't know that it was an actual definition. Balance of power is about international relationships, and what the what it's set up for is that one country cannot have enough military might. It's checks and balances to make sure one country cannot take power completely and dominate other countries. So he said all it takes to shift the balance of power and he just barely blew on this. <clears throat> it might look okay. You know, it looks like we might make it or something, but really behind the scenes this thing is just barely hanging on. What's going on in the world today? This is barely hanging on. And I also saw a dream last night. You can check out that video about Trump and Biden and how people were saying that Trump was better than God, but they were being asked a question and they hid from the question saying that they were asked whether or not Trump was good spiritually, what they thought of Trump spiritually, and they hid from the question, but they were still acting like he was better than God, is what the dream said. And I'm pretty sure that that was God telling me that people should put their faith in God and not presidents, and that no matter who is elected, God can make everything that Trump does fail, which we actually saw here in 2020. So I don't know if this is a prophecy or a warning, but something about the shift of the balance of power, and I might see more on it. I'm just telling people whatever God tells me today. So if you want to know what's going on today, get in the spirit, have dreams and visions, pray to God only, because Christianity and everything ended, and like I said, I have tons of videos on that if you want to go check that out. But for now, I just want to know what God says today, so I'm going to put these videos out anytime God talks to me and keep telling you whatever he says today. So, like I said, I don't know if it's a prophecy or a warning, but it could be a prophecy. Everything could change. In my last stream, he said, but what will you do with Joe Biden? Like, if people put all their faith in Trump now, what if it was Joe Biden? What would they do with him? Or, I didn't know, the dream might have actually been saying that the only reason people are voting for Trump, or one of the only reasons that a lot of people are voting for Trump is because... Joe Biden's not worth it. So, like I said, I don't know. I can only tell you what I see. If you guys have any dreams or anything about today and you follow God only, let me know about those dreams, please. Something really major could be coming.